Hey, my name is Jason. I'm a registered sleep technician, and I just wanted to go out. Go out? I don't want to go out anywhere. I want to show you the ResMed Quattro FX full face mask. This is fairly new as of the taping of this, which is, uh, when is this? Early June of 2011. Um, it's a good mask. So first things first, comes out of the package like this. So you should be able to know how to put it on, right? No, we'll show you how. Here's the head. So un undo uh, one side of this. Just unclip one side, whatever side you're comfortable with. Hold it like this. With this mask, it's very important that you wanna put this on your nose first and then bring it down to cover up your face. That way it gets a good pincher on your nose and uh, hopefully uh, making it less prone to leaking. That's somewhat important with this mask. So you place it here, bring it over your face. You want it to go from the nasion, the low point in the bridge of your nose here, and you want it to cover, have enough gap that at least about a quarter of an inch to about a half an inch space below your mouth, then you have a good fit. Pull the headgear over the entire mask, over, over your head, like so, and then clip this in. Using a, ma using a mirror for the first couple times you do it helps give you a feel for where it should be and where it's located as far as finding it. So most of the masks, they have some kind of a piece up here where you pull it tighter. On this one, uh, the headgear holder is actually specially designed for this so that when you pull on each side and tighten this, that is what controls how, how tight that is or the, the, the lay of it, if that makes any sense. which it doesn't to me. The bottom part, if it's leaking down here, it's too tight. Undo these two straps here, loosen it, tighten it. Once you find a comfortable area, try to keep the exact same tension and strap it down. I find it's best to do this with the pressure on because you can actually hear it leaking. It'll be pssst, and if you pull it tight, it'll stop and you know you got it. Here's the diffuser where all the air comes out. It's very quiet and disperses it really well, so not to disturb your bed partner. And that's it. As far as getting out of this, very easy. Either one clip or both clips, undo them, pull the mask off. So if you wanna clean this mask, one of the nicest things about this is taking, you don't wanna have a headgear on. This has an actual headgear uh, skeleton or frame uh, that holds that part. So what you do is grab, put a finger on each side of this, these things, put your thumb right in the center here, and then you push it in, and it pops off. The bottom part is a little trickier. You have to actually pull this out because there's a little tab in here. It's a plastic tab that catches in. So I'm, I'm pulling it this way. <clears throat> It'll give it a little clearance so that I can pull it off. And then once you do that, the other side comes off. And then you just follow it down the uh, nozzle here. <clears throat> and you're left with just the actual mask part of this. The cushion is very easy. It's just held in place by it being a tight fit. So all you have to do is pull it out. <clears throat> if you need a new replacement cushion, replace it with the same size. And uh, push it back in. To get this nozzle off, if that's something you want to take off for cleaning or if you ever need to replace it for some reason, you're breaking it down like this. It takes a little bit of strength, but I'm a big strong boy so I can do it. Um, and you push this in there, go straight in, push, it'll make a loud pop, and then it spin freely and you know it's in. This is just the hose connector. Again, you can get this part off too, theoretically. Uh, and then pushing it back on is always the easy part. So the cushion, you can see the top of the cushion, it has this little uh, tab, I guess, and that corresponds with the tab that's right on the top of here, which you want it to fit into. So you start with that, put that in first, and then let the rest go in, um, kind of just follow, be methodical about it, and push it in all the way around the mask. And you'll find that it lines up really well with all the other notches that are supposed to hold it in the right, in the right place.
that's done. Once that's done, you see that this says ResMed right there. So you know that that's facing up the proper way. There's some tabs in here that line up with some tabs right here and here. So if you're behind it, you can push these in. Oops, I'm sorry, I missed a step. You have to put that back through the hole, otherwise you're gonna have a heck of a time like someone just did just now. Push this in until you hear some clicks, which both of those went in at the exact same time so that you heard one click. This again, you wanna do the opposite and you pull this out to go around that tab. This side again, pull this out. Just heard it click into place. There you go. Plug all this back in. Perfectly assembled and ready to go. One of the best full face masks in my opinion.